share a room, don't you? No, Wendy sleeps upstairs and I'm downstairs. And your bedroom will be right next door. Mom and Dad are right, you're grown up now. Mm. It's like your nightlight you leave on all night. You're too old for that now. <laughs> if being a grown up means you have to sleep all by yourself in the dark, well, that really stinks. You're totally right, Michael. Come on, let's go. The monstrous door has run away and we need everybody to catch it. Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> Tink, I said everybody. <gasps> Ready for adventure? Ready! Ready! Off we go to Neverland. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning. <laughs> Nothing sillier than growing up. But my parents decided since I'm a big boy now, I should sleep on my own. Awful! Hey, stay in Neverland. That way you'll never grow up. And you'll always be able to sleep with us, all together in the Never Tree. Uh, really? You think uh, I could do that? Of course not. Of course, course you can. can! We're gonna organize a big welcome party. That way you'll see how awesome it is to live in Neverland. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you think they're really serious about this? Uh, hey, I, I'm not done yet. Uh, oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna miss the beginning of the party. Wait for me. on the deck, packed in like sardines. Fed up! Yellow, fed up! Yeah, Yellow takes up all the room in the lifeboat. And Jake sings in his sleep. What? You snore like a demon. <laughs> we want a cabin each, like you, Captain. <laughs> you want a cabin, each. Of course, I understand. You're so right. 
Unfortunately, there's only one cabin on my ship. The captain's cabin! Unless one of you is willing to take the captain's place to become the new captain. <laughs> Excellent. Problem solved. Now scrub that deck, you lot, and make it shine. Your living quarters are a terrible mess. Well said, Captain. Enough, enough. Enough, enough, enough. Welcome, Barty. We're gonna make a cake. But you're gonna choose the ingredients. Everyone at their post. <laughs> Michael, it's not funny. We're going back home now. What? Already? But why? Yes, why's that? Tinkerbell is happy Michael is staying to live here. It's not possible, Michael. You can't live in Neverland forever. You're too young to understand. Make up your mind. Am I a big boy, or am I too young? Anyway, I'm big enough to make my own decisions. And I choose... a chocolate cake with whipped cream, strawberries, and bananas! Yay! Yay! Long live Michael! Let's go, Wendy. We can't leave Michael here. We need to bring him back to London, even if we have to force him to. Force him? Are you crazy? Or we could ruin his party, so he doesn't find Neverland so great after all, and persuade him to come back with us. <sighs> there must be a better solution. <laughs> we got eaten up by the door! We're in the night world. Now we're really in trouble. Not only is Michael not coming back to London, but now we can't either. Monstrous door. The monstrous door's victims are imprisoned inside the night world. The only way to get out of it is to pass through that door again. See? It's not that bad. We just need to find the door and walk through it. Easier said than done. I'm fed up with this. We're pirates. We ain't deck scrubbers. Ghost, the door. Captain, watch out! You're gonna get us spotted. What's all that rocket about? Hey, why did these bulb mollusks replace my beautiful cabin door? Who asked you to change? Hmm? Now that's weird, Captain. It's nighttime already, and the crew's gone. Impossible. No one would dare to give the slip to Captain Hook. Get out of your hiding places, you bunch of grilled sardines! Or you walk the plank. I'm counting up to three. One. Two. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. It's me. They've dared. They've abandoned me! <laughs> it's late. Let's go back and sleep on it. My door. What happened to my lovely door? What on earth was that? Captain! Mr. Smee! Are you in there? Captain! They ain't there anymore! Ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
recipe, Michael. That's strange. John and Wendy aren't here. Usually they love cake. Don't worry. They're just pouting. Mm -hmm. I agree my cake is delicious. After that, we can show you our rooms, and you can choose where you want to sleep. Mm-hmm. Look, the door passed this way. This ball makes it easier to trace. It's coming. Hide, Wendy. We're gonna try to get through the door by surprise. to go and warn the others. No! Now what? How do we get down there? It's too high. We're gonna break our bones. It's the Drakkar Cave. There's another access to it, the sea. But we're gonna need a boat. A boat? Hmm. Aha! <gasps> Prepare to be boarded! Don't make so much noise! We're in the night world! No one's here apart from those the door has eaten up. Man your post! Cast off! Set sail for the monstrous door! The darlings on my boat! Taking yourselves for pirates, are ya? It's me! Catch them! The uh, captain, why don't we make them your new crew? What? Over my dead body! My dear children! Don't forget, you're nothing without Peter. <laughs> Come on, move along, chop chop. But, um, where are we going? To my cabin. For now, the crew is detained in the captain's cabin, just as a simple precaution. And I've been told you're very good at telling stories, Wendy. Good day. Um, I mean, good night. Hey, wait a minute. Who's gonna tell us a story? Huh? What story? You know, a bedtime story. At home, Wendy tells me stories every night. Here too. Wendy's the one to tell stories when she's around. But I'm also very good at telling stories. Once upon a time. Uh, uh, twice upon a time, I think. No, in a castle. Far away. No. Sorry. Without a good bedtime story, I can't go to bed. I wonder where John and Wendy are. It's weird. They don't usually sulk for so long. Maybe the pirates kidnapped them. Of course, they must have. Brilliant, the pirates' assault was planned to be the highlight of the party anyway. Let's get them! <laughs> and that's how the nasty pirate, very cruel and very rich, lived happily ever after. <laughs> What's up with the baby, Captain? On top of all this, he snores and his feet stink. John, I don't want to spend the rest of my life in this cabin. And I miss Michael. Huh? Hey! You're leaving? Even though I'm sharing my cabin with you? What else do you need? Um, to go back home? But why don't you want to stay with me? Because you're nasty. Of course I'm nasty. John, I know how to convince Michael to come back home. We need to be nice to him. Aren't we already? Uh, you mean when we told him to sleep alone? Or perhaps when we wanted to ruin his party? Now listen, you've just been eaten up by a door. <laughs> Must be ocean madness. No, think about it. Perhaps you haven't noticed, but you've passed through a door and suddenly found yourselves in the middle of the night. It was the monstrous door. Hmm. Huh. I knew it was a bit strange to be nighttime already. It's because we're trapped in the night world. As long as we don't pass through that stupid door again, it'll always be night. Uh, always night? In the dark? Uh, I haven't finished my nap yet. Prepare to be boarded! What? Peter Pan? We didn't do anything. No! Bruce! Let me go, you big brute! Uh, 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 I'm gonna show!
show you what I can do. Yeah, you can start here and there. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, where are they? Where are John and Wendy? Where have you hidden them? We haven't seen your John nor your Wendy. No one. Hook and Smee took off. No, they've been eaten up by a ball and chained door. The monstrous door? Oh, it must have escaped. And maybe my brother and sister got eaten up as well. We're gonna find them, Michael. You guys keep an eye on the pirates. Please, please! please. please. Captain, Captain, come, come back! back. <laughs> The cave's entrance is over there. Ship to port. Pull hard at the oars, you bunch of armless jellyfishes. Uh, armless yourself, Hook. You should take kindness lessons. Otherwise, no crew will ever like you. Why, I... Oh, and, uh, what would my first kindness lesson be, then? Oh, no. Not that. Yes. All right, we're here. Hey, you dwarf! Grab my nightlight! It's getting away! Foster speed! Get it! Got it, Captain! Wait! And where are your manners? Women and children first! And you're supposed to hold the door open for them. We're back! Behold, Neverland! Your captain is back! <laughs> the lifeboat! We left it in the night world! <laughs> oh man! The only way to get out of here is to pass the lifeboat through the door! There is another way! Help! Help me! I'm trapped here! Help me! John, we'll never see our little brother again! John's hat! For sure, the door ate them up! The plan's pretty simple. We search half the island each. The first one who spots the door warns the other one this way. Wow! Let's go! When John and Wendy come back, they'll probably want me to return to London. They aren't the ones in charge. They are not nice. I know, Tinkerbell. Sometimes they aren't nice. But they are my brother and my sister, and I love them. Decisions made. I'm going back to London. John, Wendy, hang on. I'm coming. Tinkerbell. What a wonderful surprise. Would you please? Hey, hey you big bully! <laughs> Captain, the door's getting away too. Farewell, door. Send all my love to the shark. <laughs> no! I got it. John Wendy, hurry up! <laughs> Michael loves you. You have to be kinder to him. Thomas. Thank you, Tinkerbell. John, Wendy! Michael. Michael! I'm so happy you're safe. Huh. I never thought I'd see you again, but you're the one who came to save us. What about me? I'm just good for holding the door? <laughs> but where are Hook and Smee? They took some of Tinkerbell's fairy dust and flew off. Uh-oh. The Jolly Roger. The Lost Kids. <laughs> Have some peace for a while. But if I'm nice, I should spare their lives, shouldn't I? Oh, oh no, no, Captain! Captain. So you prefer when I'm nasty? Oh, yes, Captain. Yes, yes Captain. Yes, yes, we love you, Captain. You, Captain. No. There, that's better. Come on, get on with it and jump. Not so fast, Hook. You forgot to say please. 
Come on, Hook! Come on, Hook! Come over here and get a taste of this sharp hook! Come on, here! Come on, here! Come on, here! Aha! I've got you! The fairy dust is wearing off! Enough playing for today! Let's go back home! Peter! Just you wait and see! Yeah! Let's get out of here! Yeah! Yeah! All right! So long, Windwrap! Michael, I wanted to tell you. You were right about the nightlights. They're not only for little kids. And above all, we'd really like you to come back to London with us because you're our beloved brother. And you'll help me convince Mom and Dad to stay in your bedroom? Of course. There's no way we're getting separated again. And you'll tell me a story every night? Of course. I promise. And you'll make me a chocolate cake with strawberries, whipped cream, and bananas? Um, okay. So I'm coming back with you. Anyway, I'd already decided to come back with you. <laughs> See you soon. Here you are, darlings. <laughs> Good night, Peter. Good night. Thanks for the party, Peter, but I'm glad I'll have my bed again. Good night, and more importantly, enjoy your story. Peter, how about staying to listen to Wendy's story? <laughs> there you go. We'll tidy up tomorrow. And now, can I have a story, please? Once upon a time, there was a little boy. No, a big boy. 